All right, hello guys, this is Elder Boucher here, uh, bringing you a new video. This is uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. It is a historical, and they tried to make it as historically accurate in terms where you need to sleep, you need to eat, you have to take care of your character. If you run into a noble and you just got off the road and you're covered in dust, they'll ignore you and call you like a peasant. Um, so yeah, they, they tried to do their best with the game. Uh, I've been avoiding, like, I know a bit of the mechanics and stuff, but I've been avoiding all the, all the plot spoilers. I don't even know really how the game starts. I'm assuming it's like most things, I'm gonna be some kind of peasant, and then disaster will fall. But, uh, anyways, I'm not alone here today. I am joined by Nikki. Hello. And, uh, yeah, she'll be in for the majority of this series. She might just flip in or out, uh, in and out every once in a while. She also has a busy schedule. But, um... This game's supposed to be over 50 hours long with just the campaign, and knowing me, I'm going to go for a lot of the side stuff, too. But uh, enough talking, let's uh, let's get started. You don't know much about this either, right, Nikki? No, I deliberately didn't do any research. I toyed with the idea of it, but I thought maybe it'll be funnier if I come into it absolutely green. Yeah, and uh, it's set in 1403 Bohemia, so part of the Roman Empire. That's where, about that's about all I know. Where is that now? Turkey? I think so. Pull out your phone, you can look it up. <laughs> that's a question okay. for Google. The early fifteenth century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Empire uh, Emperor Charles the Fourth. I didn't read that fast enough. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility as well as his half brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Yeah. Turkey's pretty close to Hungary. So it'd be hungry, I'm guessing. And I didn't read all that either, but you guys at home can always pause it and read the text. This cutscene looks beautiful. And uh, there's a character named Siki's Month, so I'm in. Oh, look, and there's deer, too. You love that. Yeah. Stag. Channeling. You guys know what's up? Oh, so many of those deer. Already getting fact checked on this video. Holy shit! <laughs> what? You invited me. <laughs> uh, I guess you would be my fact checker. I'm always just Nikki. What's this? Yeah, I'm sitting here, phone out, ready to go. All right, game wanted to be historically historically accurate. Nikki, what should their thoughts be made of? No. <laughs> Was See, that facial hairstyle actually in that? No, I'm kidding. Don't, <laughs> don't look it up. Like, low key, probably not. Yeah, probably, I would prob assume something yeah. longer would have been more fashionable. Also, seeing a lot of very vivid dyes here. God bless. Same to you. Today's uh, oh, they are a peasant class. So, like, people have been dyeing their clothes for centuries. <laughs> How goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? A blue blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening. So I think Drinking these are our like parents. Because mm. I think we're Henry. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your dad being Chuck Norris? Pretty good. Yeah. It's like a dream that I never knew I wanted come true. It's a good place to start. What's a good place to start? Having Chuck Norris as a dad. Yeah. I feel like that's a good, you know, Henry, Now I know there's, to a, begin thir at. there's a third Get fist concealed now. in my beard now. There's work to be done. Family guy joke. Uh, <laughs> Get up or I'll come hear that you'd better not vex him now get up quick your breakfast is on the table wait what's this have you been oh henry 
How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Well, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, Crap, our character needs to uh, increase his really lying perk hurt. immediately. Now get yeah. out of here. <laughs> So, one thing I do know about this, this is a game where your stats go up because you use them. Yeah. So, so the more you do something, the better you get at it. Yeah, so it's it's not one of those lame RPGs where, like, you got all your experience through fighting, I'm going to put it into diplomacy. State you're in this yeah. It's like, no, you, it, <laughs> like, you have to go pick herbs to be good at picking herbs. You have to jump to be good at jumping. Uh, by means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitation. Um, what is it? A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? I mean, realistically or not? I was with Bianca. <laughs> I mean, Why like, do you think I busted they... my fist up? She didn't listen. Oh, Jesus. I thought I'd be the one to worry about in this one. Okay. Um, is it what we actually did last night? Because I was with Bianca last night. No. <laughs> um, you know what? We were we're, chatting in the tavern. We're just talking. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope you didn't fill your head with nonsense. Our mother talks so well, much. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're You've not telling your me. Level. Yeah. And it's connected with wow. that scratch that on your fast. hand. And that's a suspicious looking character with a sword who turned off in town recently. Um I could just go double speech. <laughs> uh I like could we just go double speech? <laughs> Is that what we're going to be using? Talking ourselves out of all of our problems? You think he's teaching That's me That's what I'm going to try to do. Don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, man. I'm not lying all to you, right, man. I'm just practicing so I can so. get real good at lying to you. To cry. That's how we're going to get through this game, You know your father takes a dim view of such things. Oh, man. I'm looking forward to playing through this, honestly. What a man-child. I'm hungry! I'm hungry. <laughs> it's rather angry with me for sleeping late. He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help. Is him. our last name Smith? No. Don't worry, I would assume Don't so. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Oh yeah, they're all gonna die. <laughs> That's what this dialogue means. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard Do to find. Do you want to look up where Bohemia was? They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Because maybe it's closer to Germany than Turkey. If there's a character named Fritz. <laughs> now the western half of the Czech Republic. Okay, cool, yeah, so it's the other side of Hungary. But it's a video game, so everybody has vaguely English accents. Oh, yeah, of course. Because <laughs> it's historically accurate, Nikki. Everyone knows that the ancient Czech spoke English. <laughs> uh... I'm never going to pick I don't want to talk, since we put everything into speech. <laughs> That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me, let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. There's a picture of Velociraptor well, since I have nothing to go off of. Of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to Clever wiggle girl. the secret of beer brewing out of her. What? 
Waffles, maybe. You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging. I was thinking of a crossbow. You mark my words. Oh, yeah, Dragon Age reference. Mm -hmm. Cool. She said "clever girl," which Jurassic mm -hmm. Park. Yeah, that's what made me think. Oh, I haven't. Reference. I haven't seen Jurassic Park. All right, people. I will see you next time. I gotta go find a new person to record with. Uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> You're drunk, man. You need me to do anything, man? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. I'm hungry. <laughs> Can I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Oh, end dialogue. Lame. Circle to sprint, square to jump. You can interact with the world using X. You can talk to people, collect things, open boxes, new codex entry. Yes, people, I'm going to drive you nuts by going through all the menus. Uh, Basic controls. Da, da, da. You move using this. I just read all that. Crouch with L3. Equip your bow using this. Toggle your inventory settings. That is the map. You can call a horse. How does alchemy work? Oh, okay, I'll read this stuff off screen. I won't drive everyone nuts. Uh, eat from the pot. I might burn my hands immediately in this game. Yeah, eat the the piece of okay, bread. Let's see. When you want to sneak somewhere, make sure no one sees or hears you. Whether you've been seen or not depends on the light, your posture, and your clothing. Whether they hear you depends on the surface. When you're moving, your posture, your attire, and especially your footwear. What's a jump? Uh, how do you jump again? Square. Cool. Oh. So you come out of stealth if you jump. That makes sense. Yeah. Apparently jump stealthily. Yeah. Get that acrobatic skill up. I don't know if it actually works like that. I did that in, um... I feel quite hungry. Fair enough. <laughs> um... No. We're gonna eat right from the pot. And our mother can yell at us. Yeah, we're we gotta... Fucking heathen. Improve our acrobatic skill by... Jumping up and down a hundred times in a room, and then we can do a backflip. You can go back and right. get the bun if you want and eat that. Oh, it's cheese. Sorry. Nope. Thank you for pointing it out, though. Now I got cheese in my Oh, eat all the cheese. Just I'm not eating it. I'm keeping it for later. You big lard. Oh, yeah. Your food rots in this game. Mmm. Rotten cheese in your pockets. Yeah, that would be great. Run you know, it, I, gonna love it. Run into a noble. Just, hey, how's it going? You smell like rotten cheese. They just run away. Actually, why would the noble run away? He'd probably just fucking call the guards, have me thrown in jail. No, he'd be like, oh my god, is that blue cheese? Oh, Jesus. Bread roll. That looks like a bag of money. I can't I can't interact with the bag. Apparently I can't rob my parents. <laughs> I was talking about I? the money on the table. Uh, nails for Teresa. Sure, let's take that. A bandage. Sure. And marigold... Decoction? I guess. Fucking let's take them. It's probably like old timey Calivine lotion or something. <laughs> Fuck it. Actually, well, hold on. B oh, yeah, go into your codex. Item info triangle. Within one minute, you will cure light wounds and dispel hangover effects. I have a hangover cure. 1400. To Bohemia. To Biancas. <laughs> Talk to our mom. What is it? Seems like a funny. nice lady. She's probably sick of talking to you, though. Yeah, actually, it's the same dialogue again. Shit! Sorry, mom. I'm gonna do that the next time I run to my mom. Hey, sweetie, how's it going? I've I've exhausted all dialogue options with you. I'm sorry to walk away from her. Sometimes I feel like that with my coworkers. I feel like my coworkers are NPCs, and every time I mention the same problem, they just say the same response. Oh yeah, fair enough. I, I get that from people a lot because I've kind of learned how to default my way through conversations. Kyle actually calls me out on it. Because I'll walk by, I'll be like, hey, what's up? And he's like, don't, don't generic me. <laughs> Poppy 
got a spare hammer I can use for when shit goes down, which it inevitably will. Well, he's making a sword, so if you play your cards right, you can probably... Yeah, but he's making a sword for a noble, and the noble's gonna come, take it, and kill him with it or something. Holy shit! Persuasion. Sometimes you need the... Uh, uh, do you want to read this? I've been talking a lot. <laughs> Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at that moment with the person you're talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well-groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference in how people respond to you. I'm a drunk in a shirt my mom knit me. I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, you're also a hungover teen, so... Ugh. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign any risky tasks to you. So that's that's not you right now. That's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment, but other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping. In special cases, you can try any of Henry's other skills, for example, horsemanship. It's not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer, because it's sometimes not enough just to choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what Henry is going to say. But different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, no matter how well you dress. You won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value and compared with the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the value in various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible if it's someone you know well or if you are skilled at reading people. See the empathetic perk, which I'm going to max out as soon as I can. It's not just about stats, though. The outcome is influenced by other factors. Example, your reputation, whether you're dirty or bleeding, etc. If you can't outdo the nimble tongue of merchants, for example, you may want to poison him a little first, just, and then he will be easier to persuade. Bit. Or if you lead a guard away from his friends, he'll be easier to scare. Uh, so that's the level of our reputation with our counterpart. Total strength, charisma, speech your money the amount you have to pay let's bribe our dad <laughs> i won't be ordered around the dude just fucking knocks me out instantly um sorry i had to go and deal with something I had to go see well, a man there's no about great a dog. tragedy anyway we have a lot of work to I had to see about today. a girl I'm oh finishing god sword, the best so movie ever. ever is that the okay. one where they stand on top of their desks oh and my clap god <laughs> For everyone at home, Nikki doesn't know a lot of movies, and they're all Dead Poets Society to her. <laughs> I do, I just don't like some. Gunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Gunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad. Your mom. I'm go sure and help you your dad move. make that sword. Not, dad, go rough up this guy for some money. <laughs> rough up? Madam, I am a silver-tongued devil. No, I'm kidding. We're probably gonna, we're probably gonna rough him up. Not quite. The Verbally the rough him up. You're gonna give him a tongue lashing. Sword, which I had the bad kind. Oh, to go and pick it up. He's saying important stuff right. and I missed part of it. Money, Something about a cross guard. And ale. Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. I like my dad. Right. I'm sad he'll sure probably Bianca be dead within the next 40 nice minutes. Cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. We completed our first objective. Now let's jump our way across the town to increase our acrobatics. No, I'm kidding. God, Bianca, how do you resist? Uh, you never did. You ever play Skyrim, or uh, or more importantly, Oblivion, because that was the first one I played of the Elder Scrolls. I played about eight hours of it when I was if, homesick one day. As soon as you start Oblivion and you leave the prison cell, just crouch and hop, and uh, in Oblivion it keeps you in stealth mode when you're hopping, 
uh, and every every hop you take will increase your acrobatics a little bit, and because you're in stealth mode, you'll be constantly sneaking, and you'll, like, max both of those skills if that's how you travel. Ah. But it'll also take you an hour to get anywhere. And then uh, when you get to town, just grab, steal the biggest shield you can, and a guard will come to arrest you. Turn around, like, go into, like, a corner, like this more or less where yeah. like he can't hit you from behind hold up the shield like just tape down r1 so the shield's up uh refuse a rest and then like go to the store buy some milk or something i in my case i went and worked a five hour shift at mcdonald's and when i came back my guard skill was maxed and that's how i got to level 20 before doing any quest <laughs> elder scrolls is broken uh, you can find all information about quests in the quest log. Da, 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 for clarity. Push up on the D-pad. Oh, I like this map. It's kind of cute. What's that? I don't know what that is. Buy ale at the tavern. Okay. Oh, your to-do list is marked out with letters. Charcoal. Sort of like yeah. task A, task. Pick up the cross guard. Well, let's, let's well, go. B? Let's go see the. Or should I? We, should we go see the drunk first or last? Shake him down for some money, then use the extra money to get more beer on the way back. Oh, you're right. Oh, it's a slidey map at the top. I don't like those. I'm, I'm good with those. Played too much Witcher. You discovered a traitor. Where is he? Are you a traitor? I, I should talk to everyone I see. Maybe talking will get my speech up. I feel like it would, yeah. Which king do you what mean, Mr. Tobias? The one sitting in some godforsaken dungeon... Or the one who holds the key to the dungeon. Oh, they These are strange times. Should to say this is the charcoal strange. burner, actually. Can you not see I'm busy with Master Fafe out here? If it's charcoal you want, lad, go and talk to my helper. Well, fuck you too, sir. <laughs> Can't you see I'm gossiping? <laughs> yeah, honestly, right? Greetings. Greetings. Let's talk trade. I'm gonna haggle you. <laughs> uh, can I buy charcoal right now? No, I have no money. Yeah, you gotta shake down Can the guy. Can I sell him an apple? <laughs> <laughs> Can I interest you in this apple that I found on the ground? I wasn't expecting this to start a cutscene talking to this fellow. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. I don't know what we're talking about, but let's do this. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. I think you're running away with him. Hot. You're gonna elope. Let's do this. From the sneaky. She mode. thick. <laughs> hey Bianca, you looking good, girl? No, okay, let's focus. <laughs> Aren't you gonna go get the charcoal, or are you gonna? Run right, off no, I'm, with this I'm guy? running off with this guy. All right, bye, mom and dad. This is a choose-your-own-adventure game, and I have chosen my place. Fuck your charcoal, buddy. There's a good bush right here. Whoa! I can't walk through a bush. That's revolutionary. <laughs> but usually you can just run through bushes. If you ever run through a bush in real life, it sucks. How how realistically? Can you that? run through the sheep? I'm, I'm gonna try to jump on a sheep. <laughs> they have that for how kids again, at the Cloverdale circle? Rodeo. <laughs> yeah, I figured this guy was gonna teach me how to fight up here. Oh, look at how fast my stamina gauge goes down if I sprint. That sucks. It's because you don't do a lot of running, probably. You gotta get your cardio up. Fair enough. Ooh, what? Ooh, sage? Yeah. Ah! There's tons of it. I'm gonna get so distracted in this game. The series is gonna be a hundred videos, people. I hope you're ready. <laughs> There's gotta be more stuff growing, right? Oh, God. What? This is role playing at its finest. Your dad said yeah, you have you to get some charcoal. Yeah, you're picking weeds out of the ground. Sage isn't a weed, is it? Um, 
It's a herb, I suppose. But, I mean, anything you don't want to grow is a weed. I mean, you probably want sage to grow. So, it's growing wild, though. Okay. Well, we're kind of we splitting hairs so here. So, let's get started. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. No, you give me the tutorial. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on... <laughs> You're just coming at him with your sword right, right above in, your head. In combat, you are locked onto your opponent. You can move around with this. I didn't read what circle all right, does. All right. <laughs> now try to hit <laughs> okay, friendly circle disengages you. If you just fiddle around, uh, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never okay, so the right stick. analog stick moves where your sword is. So wait, can I go from posted to doorknob to posted to door? Oh, I can! Wait. Stop it. I'm not locked on to you anymore. What's going on? <laughs> you, what are we doing? Backing up in circles. <laughs> this is, this, as far as I'm no, concerned. Come show me what you know. As far as I'm <gasps> concerned, this is sword fighting. Okay, I know they're not Italian, but I only know Italian sword fighting moves, but can I do Boris Tooth? Is that a thing? Tried a few times. Oh, R1 is to stab. Stick him with the pointy head. Oh, okay, cool. So, oh, I actually hit him there. I'm oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, we're using wooden swords. Fuck off. Wait, he said to stab him, right? Stab him. Oh, it's not, letting, it's not letting me slash. I was gonna try to. I'm gonna try to slash him. Good, good. Let's try something else. But yeah, you're One in the tutorial strike, right now. Yeah. Off a of sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, so okay, you have five another. positions to go from. Uh, wait, you can change your strikes together, start attacks as soon as the previous attack ends. You can change the attack zone. Blah, blah, blah. Press R2 or R1 after your sword hits your opponent. Okay, but if I don't do that, if I just slash, 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 slash. The window Wait. of opportunity is between the strike and the end of the swing. I know, I'm not trying to do a combo. I am training my sword arm to predict nothing in strength. This is how you cheese games, Nikki. Man, you suck. It's okay, I'm just practicing. Yeah. Do a combo! No! I don't know when I'll get a chance to fight again. I feel like if I keep just doing single strikes against you instead of continuing the tutorial, I will get... Aha! New sword level. Mm. I was correct. And uh, so I'm just going to keep hacking away at this guy like a freaking lunatic. And uh, I will see you guys next time on Kingdom Come Deliverance. Have a wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs>